everyone welcome back it's angela i hope that you guys have all enjoyed a lovely relaxing easter weekend um well a long weekend no matter what religion you follow or whatever your beliefs are i hope you had a, a nice time with a family were able to relax a bit spend some time crafting and or complete whatever else you needed to do this weekend i'm so glad that i managed to do what i needed to do so i'm feeling refreshed just as I've got some things ticked off my list. Now, I cannot believe this is the second time I'm doing this video. I got to the halfway and when I stopped it, I realized it hadn't recorded anything. So this is take two. <laughs> so now I've got to think what I've said and what I haven't. So just bear with me. Now today, I'm gonna to share with you this little project that I've made and I really love how this turned out and I'm hoping that you're gonna to wanna to make one too. So this is the first little project we're gonna put into our Spring Splendor journal. Now don't um, feel um, a bit um, worried. I'm not going to leave you in the lurch with the Book Lovers Journal. I will complete that very soon and we will have a flip through, but this is just for um, our new project so uh, what we've got here is this little item which is pretty thin um it's got a little flap over here which i'm going to attach it to our signature and um we're going to have a look at that i'm going to share with you um what are the order i put my pages in for the signatures as well all right so um let's get on with this now this little one here has got this lovely yellow background paper um, we've got these daisies from our trim. Um, this is just a paper daisy button from the kit. This is also from the kit butterfly. All of this bit uh, really is from the kit. I've got some cellophane paper here, which is um, from packaging. So that's what that is just on the window there. Now we've got a little tag at the back here that just pops into a little pocket over there. Um, and that's what we're going to look at. So if you turn this over, you'll see I've got that little flap bit I shared with you. And when we open it up, we've got this lovely image here. This is the bit from the center of my window. A little butterfly, um, a little die cut. This is from one of the background pages. And we open it up again. We've got our little pink strip here for decorative purposes. Two of our little flowers from that background page with the polka dots and the flowers. Got a little ephemera piece here. Got a little sentiment from William Shakespeare. And another little fussy cut. And I'll tell you all about where these things come from in a second. Um, you open that up, we've got three little pockets. So we've got a little trifold with these two little bits fitting in there. You can see some more little daisies and I've put um, a little sentiment in the middle there as well. And then we've got these two little bits like that. So those go in there. So lovely soft pink flowers. So um, we close that up, we close that up, we close that up and then we can close that up too. You can close that there, but I want to use this as a flap in my book. So that's what's going to hold it all together. All right. So that's what we're going to make today. And it was really fun to do. So I hope you're going to follow along. Let me show you quickly what you need. So first of all, uh, you want, I'm using my envelope to, um, from my exciting envelopes templates. You can get these as digitals or part of a printed kit. The details are in the description box below. Um, I have used my circle die. This is three and a half inches wide. Oops. <laughs> if you don't have a die cut machine, go and grab a, a drinking glass. Use the base. Um, just grabbing my sweetie jar here, you know, and draw around it, probably the other way because that's rounded. But go and get something that's going to work for you. You don't need to have a die cut machine to do this. All right, so that's there. Then as far as the paper is concerned, and excuse me because I've drawn on one already because <laughs> I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, I have got the, the green, the soft green polka dot on this paper. I did print on the underside with, this is the side I've drawn, um, which is this lovely green background paper. Um, this is all from the Spring Splendor background pages kit. And then um, this one is the lace, the yellow lace, soft yellow lace. And on the other side, I've got the soft yellow gingham check. 
Okay, so that's the two sheets of paper. And then I cut a quarter of an inch wide strip of the daisy print. So it's the white daisies on the lovely soft pink background, which is the decorative bit. So that's the paper that you need. And of course, the little cellophane bit, which is cut from packaging, if you can see that. All right, so that's what, what you need. And then um, just move that out the way quickly. Then as far as the decorative bits are concerned, I've got three of my little um, sentiments over here. So I've got I Love Spring. I've got this one, Spring, A Lovely Reminder. And then the Laura Ingalls Wilder quote as well. So the three there. I've got this lovely two inch circle of the window. That's part of my add-on kit. I've got two of the little daisy trims that I've cut off that strip that you get and one of the pink ones and I've just taken one of my pink uh, flowers and sewn one of the buttons on from the kit as well with the button nice and small. Okay so there we go and then from the background paper with the, the green polka dots with the flowers I've cut out two daisies and two of these um, peonies okay so that's what we've got there as well just for decorative bits then i cut out from the the same the paper that's the same as the fabric i've cut out two, one of each of the the florals in there so we're going to use those as well and then from the die cuts on the die cut side i've got this lovely spring uh foliage uh, piece that i showed you last time is from the spring i think it's called spring foliage and then this little greens one, I've got one of these butterfly ones. It's a new, I got this as a gift um, and I subsequently bought the die for this on Amazon. So you can go and find that three butterflies. And then I've cut out a butterfly from the, the add-on kit as well. So those are all the bits and pieces that you need. All right, I'm just going to put that to the side there. Okay, so um, just um, at the end, I will go through the order of the pages for the signatures for you. So I hope I don't forget. Let me put it closer so I don't. And then I'll show you the order. We did talk about what needs to be printed on the backs already. I will then just quickly take you through. It won't take five minutes just to show you how I'm putting my two signatures together. There's just nine pages in each. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, and I'm hoping this is recording now, is to take your uh, template, place it onto your paper. This is how I do it. And just draw with your pencil line around there. Okay, then you take it off. Now, um, you can just stick the piece that I give you um, onto a piece of cereal box and cut around it. All right, so I've done it with this one here. You can see, like that. And then you, um, you, you've got it onto old card and it's really nice and robust. And I mean, I use these a lot, all the time. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out really quickly um, and I'll see you back here in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. Now, hang on to this piece. We are going to use a bit of it in a moment. So just put that to the side. And then what I've done, I've just scored using my ruler and my bone folder uh, along there like that on where the four corners are. So that's what I've done there. And then you want to just fold uh, along those lines. So... There we go. Yeah, I was horrified that my um, <laughs> video just didn't record. I mean, I, I heard it go ping to start and then it just stopped. <laughs> Good thing I checked before I'd done everything. Okay, um, so I want to just get that right there nice and flat and hopefully we've got it right there or thereabouts okay so there we go we've got the spots on the inside and we've got this lovely pattern on the outside so that's what we're going to do all right now it's up to you whether you want to have it that way sorry that way or that way I'm going to go with this way okay so 
what I want to do now is, and you can, you know, distress the edges if you want, or that can come after. It's up to you. Um, really light paper, so I'm not going to, you know, do too much of the distress ink, but that's just personal preference. Now, this is the bit where I'm going to take the, the, the metal die, and I want to just position that, um, if anything, slightly up that way because I'm going to have this big bit going over there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this through my die cut machine all right so give me um one shake of a duck's tail and I'll be back okay so the sun's gone behind a cloud so that's fortunate <laughs> never thought I'd say that right um I've used that now this piece has come out and we are going to use this so just put it to the side and then I'm just going to very lightly just distress the inside of my circle here now as i said you can always use your scissors and and cut around very slowly and gently and you'll get the same effect all right so that's that then this is the part where i'm going to take this little bit and i, I mean you can hardly see it here but it's a little bit of the cellophane from packaging and I want to just stick that on the inside there. Right, so the way I'm going to do this. Oh, the sun's coming out again. Hope this isn't blinding you. Right, and then I'm going to just, I'm going to gauge it. So don't go too close to your window. I cut these two pieces together. So let's hope that it's all good looks it looks all right okay now i'm not too worried about these edges here i have a plan for that so that's all good now what i did here was this is where i want you to grab this piece back again and what i want to do is i want to cut a piece that's going to be not quite um as big as you want but i'm looking for the widest part of the diameter here and I'm going to make a mark. It's going to uh, be a bit funny there, but that's okay. And there. Okay, so I've, I've just going to have this, but it's going to do the job. So I'm just going to take the scissors and cut that side off. So we're not going to see this on the outside. And then I'm going to take that bit and cut that off. Okay. So there we go. We can just keep those for our scrap pile. Now, we have the, this lovely swirly pattern there. So I don't want the swirly pattern there. I'm turning it over and using the dotted side. Now, what I, I thought I would do is, is take this little ring again, so your glass, if you're using that. It doesn't really matter which side you're gonna use it, really. I just wanted to take this here as a guide for myself. And, and I'm going on the outside here and it's really it's just for me to to know where to do the next step all right so there we go I've got that there and now um, what I wanted to put on there was that little circle so I've got this little window and shutters and this now just gives me a guide to see that I've got it evenly spaced so you're going to stick that down so there we go Let's get that stuck down like that. Now, uh, art glitter glue is perfect for this. There we go. So, yeah, before I put it down, I'm, again, I'm just gauging that I've got this right. It looks about right. So, there we go. Stick that down. Perfect. Now, I'm going to put the glue on. Again, not too close to the edge. But close enough like that and now make sure you've got this the right way um, like that and now without me shoving my head under the camera I'm just getting it over like that All right and now you can go like that you've centralized it okay there we go it worked there we go 
All right, so we've got our little goodie, our window stuck in there. Now what I did was, and this is why I wasn't worried about the edges, I have taken, you don't have to do this, but I wanted to do this. I wanted to get my flaps stuck down. So I'm doing the top one, just the top one and the bottom one. So there we go. Also reinforces the edge of this paper. And this one is also going to cover up all the... Um, the bits that your tag would otherwise get stuck on so that's why i quite fancied this idea you can leave it as an envelope if you wanted to that's all right okay so we've got that bit there right, and then i can just take my burn folder like this gosh the weather has been all the seasons today we had thunderstorms not even an hour ago the sun shining down all sorts wind sun <laughs> just not hail and snow but everything else um so there we've got that there have i got this straight it's, it's like bagging me that it looks a bit skew it's slightly skew down there but i'm not going to worry about it it's it's, it's going to be fine okay so we're going to open that up yeah it definitely was a bit skew on this side and i don't think that i can resurrect that let me see if i can I'm not too worried if it gets a bit damaged because I'm going to stick something over here, but um, I don't want it to break. You know, me, um, it, it, I never stop until I, I can see that I've got it straight, isn't it? But it happens, doesn't it? I promise you, it's not just you. It's just ever so slightly um, a bit skew. And that was my school ring skills. <laughs> but it's okay, we're going to get it right. Okay, don't worry if it looks messy because you're not going to see it. All right, let's get, get that stuck down again. Sorry about that. But it would bag me if I just carried on and I didn't fix it. Okay. So our burn folder will give us a nice iron, ironing out job there. A bit came off, but as I said, it's just not going to matter. You're not going to see it. Right, so there we go. I think that's straighter now. I'm happier. I'm happier already. Now what you want to do with this other piece is we want to use this for the insert bit. Okay, so I'm going to leave the lace on the inside. And what I want to do is I want to take my pencil. I want to use this fold here at the top. And I want to just make sure that we've got this as close to the top as we possibly can get it. Uh, we've got like a hair's breadth over there and a hair's breadth from the edge here. You don't want to buff it up. Leave like a, a millimeter or a hair's, you know, tiny bit there. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to fold this. I want to fold this over here so i'm making again another hair's breadth so hair's breadths all around and then you want to just take that where you've made your mark it'll be slightly like that short make sure these edges are right up against each other and then just run your finger along the length of that piece of paper now, it doesn't matter if you're using an A4 or a US. Mine aren't exactly the same size. One is shorter and one is longer. So that's when I fold them in. So if you look over here, this one is longer and that one is shorter. And that doesn't matter, you, you know. Okay, so what we want to do now with the length of this, we've measured the inside of our and i think i'm going to use the centimeters it doesn't matter which form of measure you want this is about 10 and a half centimeters in width from that edge to that edge the middle all right so this is in centimeters it is 29.7 so i want to take my um piece of paper here i'm just grabbing this so we've got 20 9.7 i want to make minus the bit in the middle which is 10.5 so that's 2 that's 19.2 okay now what when you measure the length of this and you minus this what remains you divide by 2 okay so that's 9 
9.6. So what I'm going to do here is measure 9.6 on that side. And that'll do it for me, I think. Um, and if you are using US letter, I think that you will, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but yours is 11 inches minus 4 inches. So yours will be 3.5 inches that you need to measure, which is just a little bit shorter than mine. Okay, so yeah, yours will be uh, 3.5 and mine is 3.75, okay. A4 is 3.75 you wanna measure and the US letter will be 3.5 because there is just a three quarters of an inch difference. Okay, I hope that didn't confuse you too much. <laughs> Probably did. Okay, so before I can do anything further, what I want to do is also, I want to trim off a bit here. Now you could fold it over, but we're trying to keep this as, not as bulky as, as it is. So I want to just take it down. Now I'm just gauging this. It's just probably two inches. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's two inches. All right, so I'm going to cut this top bit down to two inches. So let's move that out the way. Do you see that the weather's gone dark now? And five, <laughs> earlier, if it wasn't five minutes ago, it was sunny. That's all sorts of things going on here today. I'm not quite sure what to do with my lighting. Okay, so I'm going to just cut that off there. All right. So you've got half the paper there, well, where we measured. We've got the flap over there. Take off this, this bit here. Uh, right, and now at that mark where we measured, so three and a half if it's a US letter size, or three and three quarters, or what was it, 9.6 centimeters i'm going to just open this up now it's easy with this paper because i can see lines i'm just going to go to that mark there and i want to just score it okay and then I'll put it back where's my other bit <laughs> losing the plot here um so i've got that just on the inside there i'm just lining it up remember you want to just that side of it and then over here i've got my little mark that i've made again just on the inside of those fold lines and we want to just um score there as well okay now with any luck this should work <laughs> so let's just fold on those score lines so just keep I think the key is to keep the edges at the top um, even. There we go. So we can have this there. We can fold that there. And the same on the side. All right. So now what we want to do is cover this horrible mess, <laughs> as you do. Right, so I'm going to just give this a little bit of inking. Oops, gosh, I'm making such a noise here today. So yeah, I hope that um, you, you are making sense of what I'm doing here. I feel like I'm all over the place with this today. And um, my hand's gone dead. <laughs> The weather's gone funny and yeah oh well we just got to get on with it don't we right so yeah i'm excited about starting this journal and i know a lot of you are excited too oh i do have some good news um i will be putting in some more of the um different bundles into the shop uh, tomorrow so look out for that um so wednesday in the uk so i will make sure that when this video goes out that um you'll be able to pick up the bundles and that will be pretty much everything i have over all right now i have had to 
change um, my lace slightly with what I could get and what I have. And um, I've got the ribbon bundles, fabric bundles and ultimate bundles. So have a look there if there was anything that you still wanted. I did have people asking me. Um, so I've tried my best to give you what you need. Right, I'm going to just put some glue on the score line here the score line here just to make the pockets and obviously on the ends so don't go too close it'll ooze out um, on the end there all right so that's on those the two ends and the two score lines and then you want to just press that up like that there we go and before I stick it down, I think I'm going to just stick on my little pink strip. Now, I cut the strip um, because I didn't want it bulking up in the fold line here. So again, I did just make it just to the side of there. And then I'm going to make it, I'm making it just on the inside of those fold lines. So there will be a little bit that gets cut off. That's just to make sure that we don't have a bulking up on the fold lines. Oh, the rain is now pouring. Gosh, haven't we just had it all while I'm on video with you? As I said, we've we've had all the seasons today. It's unbelievable. One minute the sun's beating down and now it's absolutely pouring with rain. Heavily. Yeah, I'm glad I'm inside. <laughs> But the weekend has been good. We've had some great weather. So, yeah. But it's all back to the grindstone now. Not really. <sighs> right. Let's stick this down. So, I think that one goes there. And we'll start over here. So, I'm going to just stick these down. Okay. So, I stuck those three bits down. And we've got our pockets there now. And then, all I did there was I put on two flowers on each side here really so I'm going to just stick those down there while I, we have a little chat oh, I popped out to the shops today and I just fancied like a nice homemade cake and I am a fan of homemade cakes I'm not um, I don't like processed cakes too much I think it's because I grew up with homemade cake and I really like homemade and I used to bake a lot more than I do now and I miss it it's just I don't have time you know as we do, as we don't um, so yeah but so I managed to find um, at the garden center they had a stand on for all these homemade cakes and I thought gosh it's my lucky day because I was looking for um, a little plate platter thing there um, and they didn't really have what I wanted so I picked up a date and walnut loaf which was absolutely lush I've had a piece already with butter on <laughs> do you have it with butter on no, I suppose I've got these a little bit too over but that's fine so I did that it was absolutely delicious and I'm going to put that one over there and yeah I had it with my with a lovely cup of tea and it, gosh it was just so it was just delicious it was like homemade date and walnut and it had a nice amount of I think it was cinnamon in there and the whole thing together oh, gosh I'm dreaming about it I'd like to wait for later for my coffee I have a coffee before when I finally sit down right so we've got those three there um, this is going to fold over as we said there and that's great just keep going like that and then this one's going to fold over the other way like that best tool ever right so now on one side of this I can't remember which side it is let's check it out uh, this side we put our sentiment so We'll put our sentiment on here. So I've got this one. Love, I love Laura Ingalls Wilder. She reminded me of a program that um, I loved, which was called Little House on the Prairie. I don't know if you remember that with Melissa Gilbert. And one of my favorite, favorite programs growing up when I was about 10 or so. Just loved it. 
<laughs> it's amazing what you think of um, with things, isn't it? I really loved it. Okay, now I think this one gets a little one of these. So I'm going to stick that on here. So that one sort of laps over. So let's get this one down. And I did enjoy fussy cutting these. Um, <laughs> um, my hands aren't great at doing too much of it. I get cramps. Um, but I did manage to do these few for this, this I nearly said program, this little video today and I'll probably try a few more later but I find fussy cutting I know a lot of people don't enjoy it but I do find it quite relaxing when my hands are working properly and they're not going numb <laughs> right so there that one looks great I'm loving that and then on the other side this side here um, that's where I took this bit from the middle and this has got the spots here, so I thought I'd go with the, the pattern on the other side. And I'm going to stick that down over here. So let's do that. Gosh, I haven't had a roast dinner for a few, good few weeks now. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm yearning for one. I didn't have one at all this Easter weekend either. Okay, so now that I've <laughs> talked about everything and anything I'm going to stick that one over there so that one's just sort of I like that right so let's get that stuck down gosh the rain has stopped now but I see this dark cloud lurking so let's hope that it just holds out a little bit not get too dark before I'm finished here so we've not got long to go right so that's going to go there like that okay and then I put the little butterfly in the middle of that. So if you've got a little butterfly, um, go and this, either use a punch or a die cut or a fussy cut. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. This is just um, what I have. And as I say, this particular one was given to me. I was very lucky. There we go. But I do have subsequently found that one on Amazon. Okay, so we've got those are the backs. This bit now we're not going to see. It's the bit we're going to stick down. We've got everything ready there. So let's now close this up. So let's put this one on the inside and then that one like that. Hold it at the top. This is the three sides that you want to put um, glue on. So we want to put glue on there and be quite liberal with it. And there, and there, and not too close to the side. And then you want to just get that down there. I'm just checking where we are, like that. That's it. So we've got plenty space on each side here. So it's not going to affect our little flappy bits. Open it up and then just press it down. Those are the three sides that um, we're doing. Got that there, that there, and there we go. All right. So we've got it all. Look how it's looking beautiful already. Now we've got place to put the ephemera in. And I'm not going to put the ephemera in. It's the same ephemera. You're not making two of these. All right. It's just the one. And you can go and distress your edges as well but all I want to do now is is decorate the front bit so we're going to close that up like that and now we're going to do the front bit so with this bit you want to just get that um, over there like that now it doesn't matter that it's going to go a little bit over the window that's fine um, so you want to get that stuck down like that and then you want to do the same with this little one for the other side diagonally across All right then what we want to do is take your little sentiment um, and we're going to put that in the top left hand corner there we go and then we've just got our four little flowers to stick down these four 
So two at the top and two at the bottom and then our little butterfly, which also came with the kit. I do have a butterfly digital, um, you know, and I might use that as well. I'm going to just, I'm going to stick it this way like that. Okay, so then we're going to just take our glue and our little flowers and we're going to um, stick one of them over here and then one over here like that and then I'm going to do this one over here and then this one over there and there we have our little goodie so I've got a little green one and a little yellow one and then this same um, idea it'll slide in just behind there into our pocket that we've made over there like that all right so that's that okay now um that's our little project for today and i really love how that's turned out with the daisies and everything and they're really nice and flat they would make a great happy mail for somebody as well so we'll put one of those into our journal and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to put those to the side there i just want to show you can you hear the rain i just want to show you the order of the pages for the signatures so if you're not wanting to see this then Fair enough. Um, but don't forget that I've still got the sale running on in my website shop and the offers for the bundles, which will be renewed. So go and take a look there. Right. I'm going to just open up these pages quickly. Uh, this is the first page. And on the back of that, we did this print. And then I've got the tea stain page, which I have folded in two inches. And then um, I've done that. But I'll talk you through it. It's like I've done it before. Then the window page. On the back of that, we've got the green background page. Then a lace page, lace paper printing on both sides. Um, I've got the bunny page. We printed the pink daisy on that one. Got the apricot, apricot, sorry, the avocado page. So that's that. Then we've got this particular one. And that one's got the pink trail flowers. Love that. And then we've got another tea stain page there. And then the duckling chicks and its spring fence page. On the back of that, we've got the green lace. And then another one of these pages. All right, so that's the signature number one that I'm putting with my little peg on over here. And then for signature number two, um, again, I'll just open them up so you can see the whole page. So that's the first page. And on the back of that, we did the pink lace. Another cream lace page, cream lace on both sides. Yeah. Then we've got the house page with the little ducklings and watering can. And then we've got the yellow background. A tea stain page, which we'll get to the folding when we do the project. Then the collage page. Yeah. On the back of that collage page, we printed the green spots with the flowers. These are the flowers I fussy cut out. Um, we've got our avocado page again. We've got the gazebo page. On the back of that, we've got the yellow trail flowers and another lace page. And then we've got the honeybee page. That's got the peach background like what we've just used today and then a tea stain page okay so that's the order of the pages for the signatures okay and if you're not sure i did show you in the first in the last video sorry um what i was printing on the back there but if you're not sure just pause as you're going um i just didn't want to spend too long on that but um there's nine pages in each of these signatures and that's the order i'm doing but obviously you know whatever order suits you okay everybody so there's our signatures here's our cute little projects that we've made all right this one's got the green background this has got the yellow but i'm, I'm probably only going to use one of them 
we'll see how we go. I might pop one of them into a, um, a pocket, one of those lace pockets or something. But that's what we're going to do for today. All right, go and have a lovely evening. You've got a little project to get you going on, some fussy cut work to do, so lots of homework. <laughs> Keep you busy. Um, I'm going to see you on Thursday. Um, so look out for Thursday. I will be doing my collaboration video for Rach, uh, where we're using two kits. Um, it's the April collaboration. I'll put out... Um, the details of everybody taking part, lovely lineup of ladies and, and gents. Um, so please go and support them and have a look. I think it starts on the 10th, so that's tomorrow. Um, and go and have a look at what they've got to do. I'll, I'll put out the, the schedule so that you can see who you need to go and watch when. All right, go and have a wonderful time. If you're wanting a bundle, go and look in the shop now. They should be there. Um, and that's it. I don't have any more bundles after that, um, I'm afraid. Um, but I'm sure that um, you'll get what you need. All right. Stay well. Thank you so much for your wonderful support and words of encouragement. You guys are just amazing. Um, and let's get started on our new project. Bye bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.